So, semifinal one, they call it the Cotton Bowl. I, it's the Cotton Bowl. It's not the Cotton Bowl. I'm not even played in the Cotton Bowl, but um, played over by the Walmart, Arlington Walmart, Cincinnati versus Alabama, three thirty on uh, New Year's Eve. Great, convenient time for everybody. <laughs> Absolutely. It's currently Bama's thirteen and a half. That has stayed below the two touchdown. I thought that would get up to three scores, like fourteen and a half to fifteen. Has not. Eighty percent of the bets and money are on at Bama, though. What are your thoughts on this game now that that's settled at all? Is it any, anything changed from the last time uh, we talked about it, which was when it first came out? I have talked myself into Cincinnati being able to win this game. I'm not saying they're going win. to win. Oh, Don't whoa. win. Like, not there's, just like, cover, but yeah. win. There's all right. Like a, let's hear it. There's a path to victory here is all <laughs> I'm saying. And I have not yet quizzed all the coaches. Make sure you're played. recording I mean, this, Sully. They may, make yes, sure you're recording. yes. When they lose 42 to 3, yes, Sully, we can play this on a loop. <laughs> what is that? I'd probably path, be closer Pete? than most of my bull picks already. Um here, this is this is the this is the path to victory thesis on how Cincinnati can win this game. Alabama is not as you're, ne- you're never as good as your best game and or as bad as your worst game, right? So Alabama is a very good team. If this was 2020 Alabama, they would win by, you know, they would beat, they would beat Cincinnati just like they beat everyone else. Um, I feel like with their secondary being banged up, and I feel like with Jamison Williams being the only really high-end receiver that they have because of the injury to John Mechie, there's a chance for Alabama's offense, which suddenly became explosive against Georgia, but it had been – Fits and starts, somewhat middling, bad O line all year. Like there's a chance for Cincinnati to hold them in the twenties. I, I think that's like where this starts. If Sauce Gardner and Kobe Bryant, their two All American corners, can limit the passing game and they can stack the box a little bit, and like Alabama's O line is pedestrian and their tailback is averages grits per Alabama tailbacks. Okay. And if Cincinnati can clog up the middle with the outside being taken care of some and not give Bryce Young the chance to dance and move, I, I just think like their offense is not going to be as good as it was against Georgia. Um, and so I feel like Cincinnati's defense, they have heavy backers. They Physically, they, they're not going to get mauled by that Alabama offensive line. So I feel like Cincinnati can at least control slash slow Alabama down. And then offensively, so again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play Pat Forty in the podcast and argue with myself a little bit here. The argument against Cincinnati is a very simple one. Their offensive line is a mediocre AAC offensive line. All right, Will Anderson could well have one of his like five TFL days. Um, I do like the fact that Cincinnati's tackles are pedestrian, but they do have two excellent tight ends. Who and they're going to be they they could live in twelve personnel the whole game, and I feel like if they bunch it up and can hold together up front, Desmond Ritter is going to figure out a way to move the ball. Alec Pierce is one of one of the breakout stars of the of the season. I feel like they they have enough punch. Jerome Ford, former Alabama tailback, is a very good player. Like they, there's a way they could win this game twenty one twenty. Am I saying that's going to happen? No, but. And look, they could lose 41-3. to I want to be very clear. That option's, that option's still on the table. But I think Cincinnati is going to be able to hang and swing with Alabama. And it's not a ridiculous notion to me because Auburn did such. Arkansas did as such. a and obviously beat them. And there was one other pretty— LSU. Yeah, LSU, LSU. Yeah. Like, those are pretty pedestrian teams. So again, there's Saban and the month prep and get it, but I just want to get it out there. I think Cincinnati can win this football game. So All right. tape and mock mm-hmm. later. <laughs> I uh, I'm with you on one side of the ball. I mean, I do think Cincinnati's defense can keep this competitive. Um, the the one X factor there is is just Bryce Young running around, whether it's scrambling or whether it's just buying time and making plays. Uh, the other side, I think I think Cincinnati's offense is going to be up against it. I really do. I didn't, I just go to that offensive line, and, and you must block Will Anderson. And you can go 12 personnel. I don't know whether you're blocking Will Anderson anyway. 
Uh, that's a problem. And then, you know, can you just hold up well enough to run the ball and then well enough to keep them off of uh, Desmond Ritter's back? And that's where I, I can see Alabama scoring in the 20s, but I can also see Cincinnati scoring in the teens. I, 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 I can see Cincinnati covering the spread. I can't find a way for them to get enough points to win the game unless Alabama turns the ball over, which, you know, th those things happen. But if if everybody plays a relatively clean game, uh, I, I don't think they can get there.